Hey YouTube, thought I'd uh, share a video of reviving a not fully charging Milwaukee M18 battery. This one's a, a 12.0. So there are a couple other videos of this online, not many, but some. Um, more for repair. This one didn't have damage so much as cells not charging to balanced voltages. Uh, so, what I had with this is, uh, when I press the button, it's probably still going to do it because I haven't finished yet. You can see only three of the four LEDs light up. Uh, before I had researched this more, I thought uh, maybe one of my LEDs burnt out, but no. Uh, it's a matter of these cell groupings, and they're grouped in sets of three in parallel. Well, series parallel. Um, three cells in parallel, and then they go over to the next side and go in series to the next set of three and so on. Um, some of those were down to like 3.4, 3.5 volts. And I put it on the charger, and the charger would light up green because uh, that's as far as it was going to charge it because some of the cells on the end were like 3.94 volts and it wasn't going to charge all of them um, when some of the cells were already at the voltage they should get up to according to however this is programmed uh, even though some of the sets in the middle were only at 3.5. So, from what I've researched and seen uh, other people do, the solution to this is for the smaller cells, or the smaller batteries, like the 4s and the 5s, you can charge individual cells. Uh, you can also get a, a charge balancer um, and hook up every cell and have it do it for you. But, in my case, I don't want to take off those welded tabs um, and then either get a, a welder and do a crappy job of it or solder it and, you know, do not as good of a job. So I'm just taking these as uh, sets of three and charging those. So, I'll uh, go over to... So these cells, uh, for the 12.0, they're INR 21740Ts, and let's see, uh, so you have the specs there, you can Google it and you can get the spec sheet, but right here, uh, standard charge, constant current, constant voltage, 2 amps. 4.2 volts with a 200 milliamp cutoff. So, I mean, in terms of amperage, I'm charging three in parallel. I currently just have my uh, current limiter set at 1.9 amps, and I'm just being really conservative with it. Uh, this power supply will go up to three amps. On one set of cells, I had that before because you're charging three in parallel. But then I got to thinking, eh, if I'm going to be really careful about it, and I have time on my hands, uh, what if individual cells are uh, charging at different rates? So I figured I'll just set it at 1.9. It'll keep it under the rated uh, constant current of 2 for individual cells for absolutely sure. And uh, I just have this set uh, currently at 4.2 volts. Um, so right now it's current limited because uh, this is taking the max current I've set. And see here, um, I just find attachment points that I can. I just uh, you know, test here between these, then here, then here, then here, and then here. So you have five sets of three in parallel for 15 cells total. And I'll see if I can give you a view 
Swap out uh, these and show you what each of the cells look like, or the triple cell groupings. Feels kind of blasphemous using El Cheapo leads with a nice fluke equipment, but whatever. So up here, first set, I haven't charged that at all. Um, that's at 4.05 volts. Next set, let's see if we can, these leads are kind of finicky. There we go. The next set, I just finished charging that one. And I basically took that up to 4.00 volts. And you can see it flicker because um, this, these heads are kind of shit. Like, you can see that it's, yeah, it's not the best uh, Tesla head. But, whatever. Uh, the ones I'm on right now are, let's see, here and here and that's what I'm monitoring like, uh, that shows me voltage and current at the output uh, and you can see going down to like 200 milliamps I uh, these little clips don't give the best connection either like I had to fiddle around with them to get a good connection um, but that's, it was at 3.5 something, it's now up to 3.7. Then the next set, it's uh, down at that one. I haven't started charging that yet. That's at like 3.64. And that last set of three. There we go. So the cells at the end are, at least in this battery, um, the most charged and the sets in the middle are the ones that have experienced more wear. I don't specifically know why that is. Um, I think I have one other 12.0 battery that I can take a look at that is also at three bars. So. I'll do that one after this and maybe find out, hey, is it doing the same thing? But yeah, uh, the cells, or the triple set of cells at each end point were like 3.9 to 4, and the cell sets in the middle of the pack were like 3.5 to 3.6. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just... Uh, Charging, let's see, yeah, I think it's this lead, you can see it, yep, it went right back, ah, check. there we go, there, now I have a adequate connection again, it went back to the current limited voltage of 1.9 amps, so, yeah, uh, that's how I'm doing it, I've seen other people do similar and I'm I apologize for everyone that just had to crane the neck I'm used to improperly filming in uh, you know vertical and vertical video sucks because you know it takes up just a little bar in the center of your screen so I'm trying to correct that but probably just had a bunch of you at a right angle viewing angle for 
too long. Anyway, um, I am a shitty, not photographer, what, filmographer? Yeah, I can't remember the term for someone who uh, shoots video professionally. But yeah, for uh, the smaller her cells, like the 4.0s, the 5.0s, maybe the 6s? I'm not sure about those. Uh, you can check and charge individual cells to rebalance it if you have the issue where um, the cell's working. But you put it on the charger, it shows as green, but it won't charge to a full four bars. That's a matter of um, the cells getting unbalanced um, with each other. And the charging system will charge until any of the cells reporting to it have reached the target voltage, even if other cells haven't gotten up to the target voltage. Uh, so manual rebalancing of individual cells or individual sets of cells in parallel is the answer to that. All right. Have a good day.